guys today I want to make porridge rice porridge with miso uh, no it's actually miso porridge rice miso rice rice porridge with miso I don't know okay uh, it's a very simple ingredient it's a vegetarian recipe uh, there's no I'm not using any meat but you can use you can add uh, some prawns or, or anchovies if you want but I'm not going to do it but it's it's optional okay so the basic ingredients are very very simple I'm only using one two three four five five I'm using five ingredients to make them I'm gonna show you now check this out shiitake mushroom Ta -da! wet or dry doesn't matter I prefer to use the dry one and I'll just soak them with hot water I, I you can use the fresh one it is the same thing I, no it's not the same I think the dry one tastes better, I'm not sure. It's up to you. Seaweed. This type of seaweed, I don't know what this is called. Uh, and this is also another type of seaweed, it's called kumbu. It's very, it's like a huge, huge piece, piece, of, uh, piece of leaf. But then I'm, I, I just cut it smaller. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it, okay? Now when you buy kumbu, can you see this white, white powderish thing? Don't wash the white powder. Let me show you. Don't wash the white. Don't don't wash this the, the, the white powderish thing away. This is where the flavor is. Okay, don't wash it. And my favorite miso paste. Oh, this is heaven. This is so versatile. You can use it for so many things. Okay, and cooked rice. You can use uh, uncooked rice, you just boil it in the water before you start to add everything in. It's the same thing, but I prefer to use cooked rice because I think the texture is much better. Let's start. First thing what we're going to do is slice the, uh, the shiitake mushroom. You can slice it any way you want. I prefer to slice it thin. I use dried shiitake mushroom. I prefer to use dry. The dry type is because when I soak them in water, the, 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 the flavoring that comes out from the shiitake mushroom, I can use it for my, as, a, as a dashi stock, as a stock for me to start my rice porridge. It's very valuable, don't throw it away. If you can smell it, it tastes, the smell, the, 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 the smell of umami is, is very, very strong. Like, if you are, you know the, the, the basic the basic stock, uh, the, 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 the stock that uh, for any basic Japanese meal is a, a dashi stock and dashi, how they make dashi is they use kumbu and shiitake mushroom and sometimes anchovies but that, that's it, that's the basic Japanese dashi stock. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use scissor to cut them into smaller bits. Done. So now we're gonna start boiling the water. Uh, this will be the bowl I'm going to use for my rice porridge. So this is, will be my measurement. See the water inside? This is, this is the water left over from my, uh, the, the soaking of the shiitake mushroom. So I'm gonna add some water right now. Okay, I've just added water in it. Uh, don't fill the water to the brim. Remember, you need to add rice. Let's start. In with everything, put in all the stuff in. Miso paste. How much to put for the miso paste? For one serving, use one tablespoon and scoop it like this. This is about right for one serving, okay? Now, uh, miso paste is very brand specific. Some brands are very salty, some brands are not. So you just need to find out which one is it and then just adjust it to taste. Anchovies, dried anchovies. But if you don't, this is optional. You don't have to add it, add it in if you don't want. And if you don't, if you don't mind eating fish or if you're a pescatarian, uh, you, you can, this is, this is one of the, uh, the extra Taste the, it, it gives an extra dimension to the to the to the rice porridge. Like I said, it's optional. 
low fire 10 minutes around 10 minutes if you're adding anchovies boil for at least 10 minutes on low heat uh, if you're not putting any anchovies in it 5 minutes will do now add the rice low fire for another 2-3 minutes pepper oil I'm gonna add oil inside and you're gonna wonder uh, why do you need to add oil? trust me add some oil Okay guys, let's dig in. Mm. Oh, you can smell the taste of the umami coming up. I keep you not, okay? The ingredients are very very simple. It's so easy to make and it's so yummy. Mm. Bon appetit. <laughs> 